pork chop. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? All right, so we're going to get this thing started up in here. One thing I want to say, at least on this channel, you know, I don't have to agree with, you know, and follow everybody, right? Because I think that, you know, people should be nuanced. People should be different. People should have different opinions. However, just because I don't necessarily agree with somebody or I don't agree with their style of gameplay, if something that is legit is brought up and brought to the forefront of, you know, the game and, you know, how we play it, I think that it should be looked at. And at some point, especially if something is it, it's clearly wrong, I think that it's important that we should be able to put any differences that we may have aside. And I'm not saying that I'm going to be, you know, holding hands and singing Kumbaya with Avenger 1 because he doesn't know me, I don't know him. But at the same time, I can recognize when there's something wrong. And I think that we have something here. So let's let this... Uh this chat fill up a little bit and we'll go ahead and get started into this video today. Like I wasn't even sure like if I wanted to just make a video or if I wanted to just cover this on the live stream, but I find that doing this on the live stream is a little bit better because it allows me to like have an active conversation. Right. And I think that's, uh, and I think that's much better than, especially something like this, like having the conversation. Right. And also showing people this, right, who may not watch Avenger One's channel, you know, although I think that more people watch the channel than they watch mine as far as like um, Star Citizen content, they probably watch him a little bit more, which, which that's fine. But there could be people out there that watch me that don't watch him. And I do want people to look at this because about a month ago, almost a month ago today, I did a stream in which I encountered something that didn't seem right. And, you know, Scar and I talked about this a little bit last night on his live stream, where when it comes to cheating, it is on the accuser to provide that information of someone cheating, right? It's not on the accused to prove that, to prove that they are not cheating. It's on the accuser. And if you don't have uh, concrete evidence of that, I think that it's best to just take your L and move on. But if you do have hardcore, uh, um, concrete, hardcore evidence of cheating, it's important to bring that forward and make sure that gets reported because cheating breaks the game. It breaks the experience. You know, it's hard to try to sell somebody on a game like this, a giant MMO sandbox uh, uh, space sim, when there are people actively cheating in the game and when there is a, a large market that is produced by this cheating and we already like Avenger talks about this in the video there's already the, the ship gray market right now there's a, a a giant cheating gray market with tons of money being funneled into it so let's go ahead and get this video started and like i said when i started this stream the point of this stream is not to pick sides the point of this stream is to get the information out so that people can do what they need to do with the information, okay? So if you have personal feelings against Avenger 1, I would ask you to put those things aside. Like, this is this is not the time or the place to come levy uh, insults and, 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 and cast stones, okay? Because this, this, this is not what we're doing. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is about a 20 minute video, 22 minute video. Make sure everybody's hitting that like button here. We need that. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this. Let me know if you guys can hear it. You want to turn the volume up a little bit? Hey, you wanted to talk? 
I wanted to check with you because your name came up. Were you exposing or working to expose a cheating ring using cheat engine and cheat tables? Um, sorry, dude. I mean, uh, I don't know who you are. Like, are you a SIG dev or something? No, no. I'm a third party working with the anti-cheat team, but I am not employed by CIG. I am a third party. Look, I've been burned by this stuff, like, especially recently. Um, you've probably seen on Reddit. Like, maybe I was wrong, man, but, like, it's something just didn't feel right. But, you know. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't feel right. Uh, I don't know how or why, but you kicked the hornet's nest. This goes way bigger. Also, what I want to do is, after, after we get through with this, I want to go through my situation and, and kind of show, like, the fight that I had with that Corsair because the, the thing about it is I don't want to out this guy as a cheater, right? Because I don't have the evidence, but I do want to show how suspicious that it looked that when I'm shooting this guy and I'm getting positive hit marks with the pit that his shields are not going down. And I do want to highlight that, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to call the guy a cheater because I know at that point in January, the the PTU was, it wasn't in a good state, right? There was a lot of things that were wrong with the PTU at that point in time. So it could be a myriad of things that could have caused that, that incident. But at the same time, it still didn't feel right, especially when we got a lag spike. And then after that lag spike, I was able to hit his shields and then he ran away. You know, he was perfectly fine fighting me when I couldn't when I couldn't take his shields down, but the moment I could put damage on his shields he ran. So we will go into that. I'm not saying that he's a cheater, I just want to show that it does look suspicious. Then a couple of hackers. What if I told you that your video itself did more within these rings than anything I've ever seen before? I don't know if you know what's really going on, but right now CIG needs all of our help. Star Citizen might not recover from what's about to happen. Well, what are you, t uh, okay, so back up. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. That I was right about the guys that I accused? What if I told you like, I have proof. I have proof there's a hacker ring bigger than anyone is willing to admit. I'm talking real money transfers, speed hacks, ship manipulation, um, infinite shields. I've got dates, I've got screenshots, I've got names, I've got gamer tags, I've got videos to prove it. They're after you. You hit really close to home, and I want to know why. Okay, prove it. You got it. What exactly is truth? Now, normally I would skip something like this because he's given like, like a really good, like a segue into it, but it's poor. It's important that we get the full context. I don't want to skip anything. Three fifty for a million space bucks, bro. I can make that like in an hour or so. Yeah, it's not it's not hard to make money in this game. It's just that people always want unfair advantages, and that's you know, it, it's it's really sad to see, really. But let's get into this, and I want to and I want to make sure that I'm being fair and impartial to Avenger One, to let him get his side of what happened across, because as you'll see, you know. I'm just not I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't seen this yet, but you'll see why he was in that position and what he, and why he said what he said. If you're too afraid to speak it. For me, I've been wrestling with a struggle I feel many will understand. Do you tell your side of a story at great personal risk or damage control what little you can and continue on? Two months ago, I took that risk. I put my cards on the table and I was wrong, or so it seemed. I knew what my heart was telling me. I knew what I saw and my gut was telling me the same thing. 
but the possibility of being wrong could just not be ignored. And after a reaction video that gave evidence, my instincts were indeed wrong. I decided to write an experience off as a learning one and try my best to move on. Real quick, just make sure everyone's hitting that like button. We got 11 viewers in here right now. So we'll just keep the likes up so this video can get into the algorithm. Thank you. The following weeks ensued a hailstorm of people hating. Just like the morphologist incident, the star citizen community turned quickly and violently on its own. Despite the years of videos or the things that we had achieved, the successes and the failures, all the star citizen Reddit had to say was how much they hated me. Death threats, angry messages, too numerous to count. YouTube comment sections so hot with hate, you'd expect to see this at a murder trial. I thought to myself, what did I do? This is just the nature of the internet, man. Um, it's an unfortunate reality, but it is a reality. You know, at some point in the future, I'm sure that I'll say something or do something and the community will turn on me, you know? It's just the fickle nature of human beings right the, the moment that they have an opportunity to turn on you they will you know especially especially when they can gain something from it it's an unfortunate reality and you hate to see it but this is just how things go man it's it sucks but it's reality a mix of bad timing with star citizens development and continued delays of 318 it seemed like the sc community had found its new hate magnet and it was placed squarely on me it seems it's cool these days to hate each other. Instead of growing as a person, the instinct to demonize overwhelms the masses, especially on the internet. And sometimes people don't make it through that kind of pressure. Despite reaching out and admitting failure that I got it wrong to the very Scorpius pilots that I had implicated, and the River Talk filmed in my local woods explaining how I felt about the situation, the fires of hate burned brighter still. I'm no stranger to people's frustrations, and I've seen what the cancel mob does to those it deems unworthy. But I had never seen it become this violent, and never this violent towards me before. Weeks went by of consistent stream sniping. Almost every stream became a taxing, arduous thing to get through. Reddit posts of people making or looking to capitalize on the fires, sending deranged videos of them in their basement attempting to character assassinate. Overnight, it became cool to trash talk and discredit all the work I had done up to this point. I would be lying if I said it didn't affect my mental health. But like all things in life, the storm passes. I really think as a content creator, you have to develop thick skin because you know, no matter what you do, there's always going to be a proportion of people that don't like or agree with what you say. And there's always going to be a, a proponent of people that are just going to be negative towards you just because they can and because they can hide behind the Internet. Right. Those same people, Adventure One, if they were ever, ever to meet you in person or if they had the opportunity to play the game with you one on one, they wouldn't act the way that they act. You know what I mean? So. Uh. I don't know if you ever will watch this video, but that's just that's just how things go. It's an unfortunate reality, but it is a reality. Like I, I experienced that in in Japan um, with my with my Skyline. So my Skyline has an aftermarket remote start system on it, and I was leaving out of my my barracks room. I was in the hallway, and my keys are in my pocket, and the remote start actually went off in my part and in, in, in my pocket and the car happened to be in gear right the car happened to be in gear so the car launched itself on top of a curb and somebody had before i can even get outside somebody had found uh somebody had saw the car and they took a picture of that and they posted it all over facebook they posted it all over instagram and a shitstorm of things ensued and I was the butt of everyone's jokes, right? And I handled the situation a little bit differently, right? Because Okinawa, Okinawa is a very small island, right? Okinawa is a very small island. 
So I started getting onto the post where people were talking about me. I was like, well, if you guys feel that way, when you see me, keep the same energy. You know, don't, don't, like, don't, um, don't, don't try to be my friend when you come see me because in times of like someone's like having like a crisis or they're having like, you know, something bad happened to them. The easy thing to do is to kick them while they're down. The harder thing to do is to actually like be there for them and try to lift, give them a helping hand. But people chose not to do that. Only, only people that were close to me did that. People who didn't know me decided to run their mouths, right? And I happened to run into one of the guys that was running his mouth, right? And when he saw me, right, when he saw me, he ran. Because he knew. On the internet, he can be the biggest, toughest guy. He can be a troll. But in real life, he can get these hands, right? So you can just, just keep that in mind. People on the internet will be very different to how they are in real life. You know, that was, that's kind of like a long little little story there, but it's a true one. I had put all this behind me and wrote it off as one big mess up until I received a Discord message from a man that would start a chain of events and lead me down a rabbit hole. Yeah, uh, I agree with you, Scar. I don't, I don't think, like, if someone... You see, like, when someone threatens your life on the internet, right, most of the time you can just write that off, right? Most of the time you can just write that off as just some angry troll in their basement, you know, and you can just say, like, they're just talking shit, right? If someone, if someone threatened my life on the internet, I wouldn't... I wouldn't necessarily take it seriously initially, right? They would have to actually show that they're actually trying to do that, right? They would actually have to show they're trying to do that. I wouldn't, I would never take that seriously because it's very unlikely that someone's going to spend so much of their time invested into coming to where you are to do anything to you. It's just, it's just, it's not realistic. Like it not intended, but it feels like the way that the way with how certain passive anger styles are used. Yeah. Well, let me let me move this uh, move this camera over here so the you guys can see the chat and on the on the uh, on the screen. Let me just up here. Or I'll just put it down here. Looks probably better. Yeah, I I can agree with that. Uh, Scar, what, what I'm, what I'm, tr or, or, or Benz, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make sure that I'm being as impartial as I can, as fair as I can, not trying to um, pick a side, just trying to give like the reality of being on the internet. You know what I'm saying? This is just, this is just how things go. You know, Scar will tell you there's some troll in my comments on the, on the Ollie 43 video talking all kinds of crazy stuff. Right. And I just let them talk, you know, I just I laugh at people like that because, you know, they have nothing better to do in their lives but to sit around and talk about you, you know. So I just moved on from the situation, you know, my situation that happened to me in Okinawa. I moved on from that. And, you know, Avenger One shouldn't shouldn't look too deep into this because it's just the Internet. This is how people are. I thought I would never enter. What's going on, JT? It had been over a month, and I had finally started to move on from the drama when this man, DeBranigan, came to me claiming that he was working with CIG. Immediately, I suspected a troll, or maybe someone trying to work an angle to try and get me wrapped up back in the fire that was Leshak's video. The man claimed a lot. He claimed he knew information and that I was under investigation. Exactly, JT. And they had been watching me for quite some time. Knowing full well the tornado of drama that would ensue if I ever became wrapped up in this again, I inquired to some friends at CIG to see if this guy was telling the truth. 
rent in high places. To my surprise, he checked out. He mentioned two names, Ace Toppy and Bill Bono, both of which I had never heard before. He explained that he had been deep undercover for years, investigating what he called hacking rings. Groups of cheaters linked together via discords at different levels of security. Telegrams and various websites all linked these aliases together, and all of them cheating in Star Citizen. As enticing his claims were, I still hadn't seen anything of substance or evidence that made me feel I wanted to get involved with this. I knew CIG had people watching for cheaters, but I had no idea how far the rabbit hole went. Oh, the, person we're missing is kind the of... instinct to distrust is a strong feeling in the spy business. But when we discovered that we had met before, we knew right then and there, we're on the same side. Okay, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna sit 10k off a target, we're gonna blap it really quick, and then we're gonna warp to the run spot. Does that make sense? Roger. Yep, yep. Outstanding. Okay, stand by. The Bomber's Bar. An organization I created and ran for years back in EVE Online made its way back into my life in the most spectacular way. The brand again, as he goes by now, was an old spy master I had worked with all those years ago. Before I was Avenger 1. Two friends long ago reunited again to fight a hacking ring threatening to destroy the game we both love. He explained to me that exactly one month prior, before I had met him, he had noticed rumblings in the hacking rings. His contacts were feeding intel then. He knew I was somehow involved. Either I was cheating, or I was exposing someone who was. Either way, it was a risk for him at the time to contact me. If I had been cheating, I would have alerted the rings to more attention, and likely DeBranigan would have lost another spy. Doing Overwatch right Some now. of the puzzle pieces were starting to fit, and the conversations I had with DeBranigan made me even more curious and want to dig a little deeper. What time I What's up? But we both knew. We couldn't do this alone. And the Brannigan told me that if there was anybody else in the game who was going to help us uncover all of these rings and bring evidence and proof, it was a gentleman named the 11th Hour. A fellow hacking hunter and also another spy master, we decided to bring him into the fold. Because with all three of us, maybe, just maybe, we could have a chance to break what's really going on. And luckily enough, 11th was on our side too. When the three of us got together, we knew we right, had a Dave, case. We'll and we knew we could expose Bill Bono and show the hacking ring for what it was. But there was still one more piece we had to rule out. I knew I had to talk to Lashak. Sorry, I might be a little delayed. Uh, it's, all, it's all good. Uh, nice to meet you. To think that we're actually on a call with Avenger 1, Zach. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, think about that for a second, dude. <laughs> so, um, we're really big fans of Avenger 1. So. I appreciate it, man. I mean, and I apologize for all the stuff that happened uh, all that time ago. And the reason no, I'm cool. calling is because I have some information that I want to share with you guys. And like I was telling your brother, um, I'm taking a big risk, but I think it's the right thing to do because genuinely. I genuinely believe that in order for Star Citizen to survive, it cannot have cheaters. And that night where you guys fought me, I had experienced a, a few people cheating before I met you and all my bells were ringing. No, yeah, I was actually talking with Zach about this very thing. I was saying, when you get to the highest level of anything, the statistical proportion of cheaters is going to be much higher. That's true. And that, I think, is something that you might see a lot more often than we might see, or the average Star Citizen player might see, for that matter. So, I thought it was probably not as big.
big of a deal as a lot of people were making it out to be, frankly. We spoke for over an hour. We traded stories. I showed them videos and evidence that I had collected over the time. And I had asked them some basic questions to ease my own mind to make sure that they indeed were not the devils I thought they were. I've had times in this community and in this say, game. I will say this, like, real quick. You know, it's, it's, we should be having conversations like this. Like, if you are, a, like, especially, like, if we're, if we're streamers, right? I'm a streamer. Avenger 1's a streamer. I don't know if those other two guys that he, you know, accused were streamers, but, you know, Star Citizen is a small community, and we should be able to reach out to other people and like have conversations about about certain things and especially when it comes down to cheating we should be able to reach out to the other party now i understand that you know emotions get involved you know people do get salty but at some point we should be able to sit down and have conversations and i think that it would be smart if we if we had the capacity to do that before you know we make um you know a hit piece about somebody cheating in the game you know to to really find out what's happening and to get like all the angles and you know all the perspectives on, on the footage to where like we can see what's happening you know in the game yeah johnny i had no idea that it was possible either like this, like what you're going to see in this video is, is truly shocking. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. That helped me renew my faith in not just humanity, but in people. I left that conversation knowing that humanity what I was doing to try and expose these cheaters was the right thing. And that no matter who you are, or what side you fight for, or what has happened to you before, that we can all come together to fight a common enemy. I don't know how we could do it. We could make some type of a public statement or something like that. Like, hey, um, we agree with you. Like, we do. We personally agree with you in your assessment. I think Realm looks like he's cheating here. Yeah, I, like I genuinely think you're talking about. So yeah, I would say that cheating. there are a couple of things that are necessary for this to succeed. One of those things is deductive reasoning. So we need to have clear evidence. We need to have something like, you know, Grom, for instance, is associated with this hacker ring and you can show that he's associated in a pretty indisputable way i think that would be a pretty good logical nexus and it would give a lot of bedrock to the case that was clear and obvious cheating let me back that up some type of a public statement or something like that like hey um we agree with you watch this he's like, like we do teleport. we personally agree with you in your assessment like i think realm looks like he's cheating here yeah I, I genuinely like think he's lost well. so i would say that there are a even though he's cheating he's not he's still missing his target a couple of things that are necessary for this to succeed that was terrible we do we personally agree with you in your assessment i think realm looks like he's cheating here yeah he I, like I genuinely think he's lost well. so i would say I that there are a couple this? of things that are necessary like we do, we personally agree with you in your assessment. I think Realm looks like he's cheating here. Yeah, he I, like I genuinely think he's lost well. That's fucking wild. So I would say that there are a couple of things that are necessary for this to succeed. One of those things is deductive reasoning. So we need to have clear evidence. We need to have something like, you know, Grom, for instance, is associated with this hacker ring, and you can show that he's associated in a pretty indisputable way. I think that would be a pretty good logical nexus, and it would give a lot of bedrock to the case i think if you can pull that off i think it's uh i can go back to it yeah it I, like I genuinely it. it's gr0 n m put it in chat So I would say that there are a couple of things that are necessary for this to succeed. One of those things is deductive reasoning. So we need to have clear evidence. We need to have something like, 
you know Grom, for instance, is associated with this hacker ring, and you can show that he's associated in a pretty indisputable way. Kamikaze, I think that would be a pretty good logical nexus and would give a lot of bedrock to the case. I think if you can pull that off, that would probably be enough. But I wouldn't do it without something like that. A clear, demonstrable nexus between Grom and this cheater ring. So kind yeah, of, you can quote us. You can up. say in the video that that Grom fight, it we, looks yeah, exactly it, like yeah. the cheat you're talking about. We and will go on record. We'll say yeah, that looks up. like it to us. Like if we were seeing that, we were flying that, we would have said something like, okay, that looks like a cheat. That yeah. looks pretty ridiculous. I would have. Yeah. Yeah. I am 100% on your side. I yeah, think that you're right up. here. I think that these two examples, they, they seem to be a lot more, um, they, they seem to be very plain to me. Mm -hmm. I think there are weird things happening in these clearly not the way the game is supposed to function. After reaching out to Grom and D34 for any information on whether Grom was cheating or not that night, and knowing that the Scorpius wasn't involved, we set out to make sure we put all the puzzle pieces together. And Ace Toppy was at the top. Like, if you're going to cheat in game, like, probably the worst thing that you could do is go fight someone who streams and records the game because that evidence is going to be there, right? It's a hundred percent. There's a hundred percent chance that that evidence is going to be there. I think Johnny, I think it's all, all servers, man. I, I, I really, I, I don't know. You know, I, I think it's every server. It doesn't matter what server, you know, um, one of the things that I noticed uh, watching these posts, it, it seems like a lot of these guys are in Australia. Top of that list. The same night I had encountered Grom and the Scorpius pilot is the same time that this Discord lit up trying to find out who exactly it was in their community that was cheating in front of me. If Grom wasn't cheating, why was the leader of a cheat looking for him? And why is D34 still remaining silent after all this time of me asking for an interview? To me, the writing was on the wall, and it was obvious that we had caught our cheater. Eleven, what do you feel? Why do you feel like we need to go public with this? Because if we don't, this game doesn't have too much longer to go. That's why. The reality of it is, and it's sad to say, that, yeah, people are making cheats. But you know what's really what's really messed up? People in the people in the community in the Star Citizen community are using them, and they're funding them. If somebody wants you out of the game, you're out of the game. If somebody wants to manipulate whatever's going on in a specific area. It is sick, and it's just like this game already ha already has uh, a steep learning curve for someone who's a beginner, right? And you know. Say like you're a beginner and you want to get into PvP in this game, right? Which has a high learning curve, which you have to put in time to, to make your skills at PvP better. If you have somebody that's cheating at PvP and you are not cheating, just trying to like just advance your skills on a in a normal way, it can make the game extremely frustrating. And it's and it'd be hard to recommend, especially with the amount of bugs that already exist. There's already issues with desync and hit reg. To cheat in the game just makes it all that much worse. JGS says another big problem that CIG will still face is moderation. And just a reminder, Asian servers are going have gone online. Cheats are going to start rolling out hard over the next few years. Yeah, I, I, I really hope it's something that they can get around. And I don't like I'm not uh, like I said, I'm not a software developer, but there has to be a way for them to code the game for it, like to recognize like, hey, some some parts of this game code have been modified and you know, there has to be a way for them to to figure out 
how to code the game to to look for values that don't match what the ships can do. And I think the game should always be looking for that. You know? That's just what it is. People cheat in games. It's a playground for somebody learning how to develop cheats or to practice their cheats and damn sure to sell them. Look at how much the ships cost and we buy them. I feel like if the community, the content creators of the community and the dev team from CIG are involved. Yeah, so if everyone gets involved, we can smoke them out, right? Yeah, I do. Well, you have to look at our perspective. So 11th and I know of each other in passing, but never really took time to sit down and combat this. This situation kind of demanded that. Mm -hmm. But for us, you got mentioned a year ago and then get mentioned again. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that sets off all kinds of bells and whistles for us. So we're like, potential insider this guy could be working with them there could have been a falling out mm -hmm. so yeah. you either become a target or an asset at that point yes right. um yeah exactly and that's what we were we were yeah. i believe we were both side by side without johnny i don't i don't get that mindset either like if you're gonna just cheat in the game like why even play like why even play like it, to me like the game is not fun if you have everything in the beginning the 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 funnest part of this game for me is grinding for new ships and then getting that ship and then specking that ship out and then going to do that fun gameplay with your friends. Like one of the things I'm most excited for is grinding out ships with, with, with my, with my small crew so that we can go do the gameplay that we like, you know, and I'm going to help everyone in my crew get the ships they want, you know, and I'm going to, you know, put them in a, in a position to where they can make the money in game, right? And the, and the best way to do that is server speaking. So, like, if, if people are complaining about money in, in the game that they can't buy ships that, that they want, I'd be like, okay, here's what you can do. You can party up with me, and we can go run service beacons, and you can get you, and you can make money, and you can get the ships that you want that way. You know, there's no reason for people to be handing out money, although if you do, I'm, I'm not going to decline, right? Um... But there's, there's there's no reason for that. The ways to make money in this game are pretty simple and they're pretty easy. You know? Most of the time, the the ship AI, the way they did, they, they, they dogfight, you're not going to be in any, any real danger if you understand the basics of flight movement in this game. If you understand the very basics of flight movement in this game, you can run service beacons, no problem. And then they're good because you don't have to worry about flying an Atmo. Right, you're going to get your ship's full potential by doing service beacons in space, and it's going to make you a slightly better pilot for it. Cooperation with each other, investigating you specifically. I believe <laughs> that's what was happening. We all knew we would have to go public with this, and we wanted to. We wanted to make sure we got everything right. We knew it was Grom that led us to the hacking Discord, or at the very least, it led me there. Eleven and DeBrandigan have been hunting these men for years, and we knew what I saw that night was definitely cheating. After being around this game for a long time, I knew what I was seeing. I think I may have fought this But I had no too. proof Wrong. in the sense of knowing how he was doing it, until Eleven showed me this. Watch this, guys. I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. A hawk going over 350 Gs, its speeds topping 1600 or more. Instant accelerations, I knew right away that what I was looking at was the identical style of cheat that the hornet I was fighting was using. I couldn't believe that this kind of hack existed in the game until both 11th and DeBranigan showed me just how terrifying and how crazy some of these hacks can get. Look at this one. Look, look, if you look right here on the right side, 
he has more shots than what he's supposed to have. I think this gun should only have fifty two when the when the um when the power is to uh when the power is to shield because you don't have fifty two shots. But he has sixty nine, and watch how fast this thing shoots. You know what I'm saying? He basically turned that he basically turned that size seven into a freaking repeater. This shit's fucking wild, bro. It became clear to me that what we were dealing with wasn't just some kids running around using some hacks, that what we were dealing with was a very serious threat to the future of Star Citizen, and why I feel like this needs to go public, and why all of us need to be invested in this, and we can pin it all. And this is, and this is why I said at, at the beginning, like, no matter how you feel about Avenger 1, right, this right here is legitimate. Right, and if you care about this game, and if you care about the future of this game, especially the way that they're trying to develop this game, you should care about people cheating because it's going to have very large implications on how people experience this game. Like we don't have, like Star Citizen has enough issues. Like we have literally enough issues in this game. To see people out here actively cheating like this this early in the game, this early in, in the development, in the alpha state, like, it could potentially get much, much worse if we don't bring attention to this. On Bill Bono. We know that Bill Bono is the creator of, or at least one of the developers behind that's the hack called Night City, right? He's the head of everything. Of everything, right? Now, how do we know that? Do we have evidence to support that theory? And then you sent me. Night City is the program that these developers have called their hack. And it's based off a cheat engine. Ace Toppy and Nightfire are developers working on it. And we know that Bill Bono is Ace Topi detailed messages about how to pay through either PayPal or other means to get a subscription to a program they can use to cheat Star Citizen. A detailed list of how much money it costs for how much AUEC you can earn and get given depending on how much you're able to donate. With his name being on the hack itself and another fellow hacker in their discord asking to confirm which one is actually him. Dr. Funkenstein and Mantis Tobergen are also his alt accounts. Screenshots of the cheating. I've seen that name, Dr. Dr. Funkenstein, in game two. Cheating rings over the years have provided CIG with not only the names of the alternate accounts that this hacker is using, but also the names of his friends. We've investigated each of those names. We've also found screenshots linking that Nebuchadnezzar in game actively cheating posting and gloating to all his friends about how he's breaking the game. All of these screenshots were provided by 11th and Debranikin, who have both been publicly recognized by CIG for their contributions and assistance in helping track down and catch these hacking rings. Both of these men, in my opinion, are star citizen heroes because they're doing the work that no one else will do. When I set out on this little quest of mine, all I wanted to do was prove that what I pretty much pretty much and I think that CIG needs to do a better job of like monitoring accounts you know they need to do a better job of like monitoring accounts like if you see somebody that has you know there's a fresh wipe and let's just say everyone's starting with a million and then like that same day within like the first hour they have 500 million AUEC 
You know, there should be certain things in their coat that just bring red flags to their accounts. You know, and I, I just think that there should be like ideas, you know, going. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're talking about it. They may not be talking about it publicly because, you know, sometimes you don't want cheaters to know that you're onto them. Or maybe like now they know, it, obviously. But you don't want them to be able to counter what you're trying to stop them from cheating with. You used to have two billion in your account. I saw that night was real, but instead it opened my eyes to the real fight that Star Citizen will have to fight. Hacking will kill Star Citizen if we do nothing about it, and CIG is going to need everyone's help. I skin an anti-pirate player who wanted to fund an anti-pirate organization. Nice. This game is a game made by people for people. And so everyone who watches this video, I call Welcome upon you, people. whether you're in the hacking rings or not. Fight. Put aside your differences about what you do. You're a genius. You're a genius. What your profession is, or the fact that you might not like somebody. The only fight that matters for Star Citizen is making sure that this game stays alive, and it's going to need the entire community to do it. It doesn't matter if you're a pirate, an anti-pirate, a miner, a trade. Oh man, that's genius. You're like the little finger of Star Citizen, bro. You're a businessman. No matter what you are, what you do in Star Citizen, all of us have a responsibility to make sure that we make this game the best that we can. I've used what influence I can to try and get as many people free ships to all the recruits, hell yeah. People involved to make sure that they know I am not alone. It may not be a perfect game, and we may sometimes get real frustrated. I'm all about making people, you know, work for their, work for their, their ships, you know? You gotta make them earn it. But we love it, and it's our game. And I know for one thing, in a war between cheaters and players, I'm on the side of the players. Which side are you on? Because there is, I want to I want to bring this up. Uh, let me see where. Now this is the fight that I had with. With a corsair, and when I was shooting him, his shields weren't going down. And this is this is from a month ago. And initially I wanted to come out and make a video of like, hey this guy's a cheater, but I was just like I can't prove it. The name of this guy? The name of this guy is Danger Leprechaun.
didn't even play the missile just turned away from him. I missed those shots because I was too far out. He started backstripping on me again. I can't prove that he's cheating though. That's the thing. You guys hear the pit? Look at his shields. They're not going down. I landed just about a, uh, a full clip on him just there. And his shields didn't go down. him again. Shield's not going down. Hit 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 him again. Shield's not going down. At the very least, he should have, you know, red shields right now. Like he should be, like he should be in trouble right now. Again, shield's not going down. So I'm just like, what the hell? Again, another nice little volley on him. Shield's not moving. And at this point, and at this point, I'm thinking, okay, maybe there's something wrong with the head registration because um, I know the PTU was at that point like in a bad state. You know, it, the PTU wasn't good then, right? But look at that. How is he flying so? So that we got a perfect turn on him, and we emptied just about a full clip onto his shields. Now I think the lag spike's gonna happen. Look at that. Like, technically, I should have already killed him. He should already be dead. How are his shields not going down? Now, here's the lag spot, guys. My shields are going down every time he hits me, but when I hit him, his shields are not going down. Now, here's when the lag spike happens. And this is why this looks suspicious, right? This is why this looks suspicious. Watch this. Right now, we're in the lag spike, okay? Lag spike. After the lag spike, his shields are starting to now go down. Push, 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 push. Now his shields are going down exactly where I want them. Come on, lag spike. And now with these lag spikes, 
Now he's not wanting to engage. The lag spike happens and he runs. My shields. My shields were going down, right? My shields were going down. He actually kills me. He actually kills me. So I'm gonna skip forward here because I, I I I was hunting this guy down. it up a little bit you know I would like to reach out to 11th hour and the other guy and like just kind of show him this video and just be like like what do you guys think about this like what like what do you guys consider like this is because right here like I am literally I might have gone back too far. Is there a climate change? Dude, speaking of climate change, man. Like, I don't know what's been happening. But More ammo. If I had a gunner, I could live. guy just keeps running from me, bro. So and here, yeah, this is where he almost kills me. You know, and it, and it could be that they were, you know, they're testing their, their, this is just speculation. This is not an accusation, okay? And I want to make this very clear. This is not an accusation. This is a speculation. If they were cheating, okay, there's a new patch coming out. So just like the CIG developers have to go in and test their patch, the cheaters would have to go into the PTU and test their hacks in the PTU, Okay. And that could be potentially like what I encountered, right? Can I prove that? No. But what I can do, since this is now on the forefront of the Star Citizen uh, community, what I could do now is I could ask, you know, 11th Hour, uh, the Brain Again, and possibly Avenger 1, hey, take a look at this video because I'm shooting this guy and his shields clearly aren't going down. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys know about this name? I don't want to come out and, you know, like I said, falsely accuse somebody when there could be possible uh, and logical explanations for this, right? Of gas that I use, and this is probably one of those tactics. Yeah, he was, he was back stripping on me. Oh my god, dude, stop running for fuck's sake. Shot one missile. Wow. 
There you can see it again. Feels it not going down. Not this time, buddy. See it again. I get another, another nice, good shots on him. And you can see, you can clearly see his shield being hit. So it's not like I'm missing shots. And you can see when he hits me, my shields are going down. And at this point, I'm getting like pretty frustrated and annoyed. And he's gonna run. Like I said, I, guys, I, I don't know if this was the, the MFD bug, because there was a nasty MFD bug in, in the PTU, where it wouldn't show the, the MFD screens correctly, but I believe at this point they had fixed that bug. They're so nasty, bro. I believe this is where he kills me because my ship gets major torque imbalance. This did that thing get like a buff or something on some of its stats? Ship up. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, what it is. I'm going to let you guys decide. I'm going to let you guys, you know, decide what that is. You know, that's not for me. Because like I said, I can't prove jack shit. Because at the end of the day, like I know the PTU was in, was in a bad state back then. Like I, like it's it's pretty obvious, you know, the state the game was in. For me, it's pretty obvious, right? And I think sometimes like it's just easier. FFC Demon, thank you for the super chat. We appreciate that. Salute Marcus, thanks for the great vids. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you. I will. I will for sure. I will definitely keep that up. I got installed a new launcher. Drop hammer. I have I have no idea what the what the point of cheating is. Like I I just I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. You know what I mean? PT was rough, but see, the thing is, even with, like, the MFD function, like, I never had an issue. Like, even if, like, even, like, with the MFD bug, you could still see, like, their shields go down. You know what I mean? You could still see, like, shields going down. You could still see, you know, like, a lot of things in, in game. It wasn't like you had, like, no information, you know? And the MFD bug really didn't have much to do with the shields it just had to deal with 
the the ship not showing up correctly on the MFD, right? So it's it's hard to say. It's it's super hard to say. And Scar and I had talked about it. You know, he was like, "You should you should probably talk about this." And I was just like, "I I can't prove it, and I don't want to potentially put somebody out there on on the internet as a cheater when there is." When they're just logical explanations for like what's happening. Shout out to Denmark. Johnny, thank you for, for coming to the stream, brother. Yeah, we have to we have to combat these cheaters. Like if we want our game to, to be good, we want our game to you know, succeed. The, the The last thing that we want is this turning into Grand Theft Auto Online where it's just so unplayable. You know what I mean? Like, if you just play regular Grand Theft Auto Online, it's, on, especially like on PC, it's literally unplayable. Like, you just, you just can't play it. And we don't want Star Citizen going down that same route, down that same path. So essentially what happened is um, a couple of months ago, A1 accused uh, a Scorpius pilot of cheating and they weren't cheating, right? And for context, earlier that day, he had encountered people who were actually cheating in the game, right? And out of his frustration, you know, he made, you know, he accused him of cheating. And then he was contacted by a... Um, an anti-cheat ring uh, in CIG that pretty much said that you know people are actually cheating the game and they would like him to help. So he did, and they exposed some cheaters, which is always a good thing. Three eighteen. If I were to be cautious, um, I would probably say it's probably going to be a, a couple of more weeks. I think the main issue why this game is not live is because the snub fighter on the constellation doesn't work. Right? That's one of the main blockers. I think if they fix that, I think this goes live relatively quickly. If they don't fix it quick, then. I don't know. Night 6 is probably going to be a while. Trap I'll probably say that Night 2 would sound, sound reasonable. gonna have to figure something out because Invictus is coming up I think like I think Invictus is like what May? Invictus is in May so I would I would say that this game will be or 318 will be live before May for sure even if it's broken they'll make it live before May because Invictus is, is, a, is a, uh, a big month for them that month they sell a lot of chips so it'll be live before then for sure Now arriving. Yeah, in my in my 
opinion, the, the biggest one is the snub fighter on the uh, on the constellation network, and that's that's a big one because a lot of people in this game fly that ship. So. Big Welcome to the Aesop Vehicle Stars. Retrieval System. Our Corp is proud to bring the universe closer together. Our Corp, investigate. Your insurance tomorrow. claim has been sent. Please visit us again. Together, grind for some ships, and then do our fellow gameplay. I'm, I'm excited to bust people in bunkers. Salvage their ships. And report possible threats every time. Welcome. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Obey all security yeah, and customs uh, personnel FFC at all times. Uh, Their job is your safety. The your insurance claim has been sent. Please visit us again. Nasty one. Goodbye. Nasty little bug. Party invite, sir. Also, I can open the Discord thing and have the voice call. Kind of knows more about game hacking than I do, so. Thank you for visiting our home. Stanton's capital of commerce. Whatever your transaction, we wish you a beneficial and ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage From facility. Transforming worlds to exploring the stars. Our Corp is proud to bring vehicle the vehicle selected. Together. Stand by. Our Corp. Investing in tomorrow's future. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Thing is we gotta get the A2 so we can bust people in bunkers, but we, we, we kind of worked it out in, um, in um, 317 how, to, how we're gonna do it. For the latest travel information, be What's sure going on, to man? check the departure What's and arrival boards conveniently mm, located not much. at the space Another board. day at it. Talking about that uh, Avenger One video, busting those cheaters. Oh, really? I'm about to go back and watch that part. Once yeah, you haven't seen that video yet. Company, I haven't seen the uh, Avenger One's video about it. So yeah, you need a, 
I remember Grifter was telling me, was talking about it last night. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. That. Please visit us again. Have any? Um, you still just have your stock ships, right? Yeah. All right. I got the Hornet here. I'm gonna climb the Scorpius before we get to the spaceport. Welcome okay. To the ASOS vehicle retrieval system. To keep our safe and secure. So we can see here. And report possible now we're gonna have to check. Uh, your insurance claim has been sent. Curse the Crusader. There's, it's very rare that you find beacons over on this side. I lost my way for a second on area 18. Please visit us again. For the right, latest working again. information, Sometimes. be sure to check the departure and arrival boards. Conveniently oh yeah, another blocker that all the elevators not working right in certain places. Yeah, like the elevators and the reclaimer. They don't work at all. Well, they have a ladder you can use. Your Except for getting down into salvage processing. Your oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, you can't get in the... I tried last night. I think it was last, last night. Or the no, because when you phase out of a ship, you kind of like go into a, a different layer of the ship that's and it's it's kind of hard to get oh, yes, back like into the main part of the ship. Yeah, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like the middle button in the Big Mac. Yeah, it's kind of like the back rooms. And then once you get into the back, back rooms, the only the only real way back is to exit the ship. repeaters on it this time so I took the uh the nose the nose turret off the two size ones and I put a size three on there. Ooh. So you got two size ones on the turret and then two size threes on the wings and one size three on the nose. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Spoil me. <laughs> we didn't make it back. I think it still works. All right, the Hornets on Hangar 3. 3? All right. Well, oh, Cap, that's what you can get for going in there, huh? Cat hated everything. If it breathed, it needed to die. But I remember, like, right before she died, she was, like, nice to me. Like, only yeah, she got real sweet. It's like, it only took you 10 years to be nice to me. <laughs> that only took a come to Jesus moment. Your 
Oh, yeah. Duh. I'm over here can you do it from inside the hangar or do you have to do it in the ship? Let me see if I can do it from up here. Let me see if I can contact the uh, landing services from up here. There you go. Yeah. I'm just doing space doing that in your ship. Hey, there you go. Yeah, they're open. Okay. That's good. I'll get from the terminal. I don't know if you walk down there. Right. I'm gonna wait till you get like 10,000 kilometers away. So there's an EV yeah. back over here. <laughs> right. Thank you. Okay, Welcome. I'm far enough. I got the uh. Your insurance claim has been set. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Alright, well, Starboy gets launched Your here. Your vehicle has been delayed to the location. Up. Hello, and welcome to Riker Memorial Spaceport. Servicing the greater Area 18 metropolitan area. We hope you have safe travels wherever you they could be somewhat effective in combat. Let's see if we can find anything. We might try to find some uh, some bolters on the first. I did, it's no longer set to the freaking maximum speed anymore. Oh, you have the freaking ceiling of the, uh, of the hangar? <laughs> yeah. There's been a couple times I'll go to take off my 100i and almost kill myself. Slam it into the top of the freaking hangar. Thank you, and please visit again. It's like, whoa, calm yourself, ship. Right, Nobody ship said to... Ship to Yeah, that's pretty annoying how you, they have to uh, exit one at a time. It's like if the ship's on fire, somebody's getting left behind to die. <laughs> right. I don't know, you gotta do paper, rock, scissors. Let's see who dies and who lives. <laughs> right. X 
exit and like your emergency exit. It needs to be like a medium speed exit. Where like if the ship's on fire, right, you need to get out. To where he doesn't wait for the ladder, just kind of like that the ship. We need a speed right. exit. Or they can make it to where um, if the if the um, like say you're hitting the eject button, like both people eject. It's not going. Right. Hopefully. Some of these other ships that have pretty big uh, gimbal mounts running around with, you know, size 5 cannons on them now. Yeah. You can run like what size six and size sevens. Put the biggest guns on there. It'd be disgusting. Let's imagine the uh, A2 all size sevens on it. Ooh, yeah. That would be something you think twice about fucking with. Think about it again and then call your homies and be like, oh, I don't think this is a good idea. for this game cannot you're gonna be like blown away you're gonna be like what the hell why they quantum in the middle of deep space because you probably hit quantum to me but it probably did as you were spoiling it it went from person to me because <laughs> I was in the way yeah, I'll force it to Hurston This is the uh, the American servers, aren't they? It should be. Okay. I usually play in the EE server. It's a lot more stable. Because there's nobody playing over there. All, they're all should be asleep. That too, and that's where they keep most of their resources. That's where all the good stuff's at. Yeah, we get the leftover garbage here. Hell yeah. Like, shit, this board's broken. Send it over to the America servers. Right. JP knows how that is. In the military, we get <laughs> hand-me-downs. Sorry, what do you want me to do with this? This thing seems more duty tours than you. seen it yet but what am I doing in the meantime wish I could divert power to engine fly faster and quantum right fly power to quantum
was so close. Imagine meeting a space trucker and you leave a planet and then like really have to take a shit and the toilet in your ship's broken and you have to wait till you get to the next planet. <laughs> Face. Too well. Wow, my guy's flexible. I can look down my own pipe between my shoulder blades while flying a ship. Man, that's gotta be uncomfortable. I didn't know the ejecting's right pressed up into your crotch like this. Yeah. Hey, you gotta like rack yourself to eject. I made it. No, exactly what happened to them chairs. Quantum fuel. It you know how some of these women can get to get uh, evaluations. <laughs> Feel me? Take off complete. Becky, she, she wasn't good with the firearm or any of her writtens or you couldn't complete the obstacle course, but her gobbledygook and the throat work is, is top notch. Yeah, the gobbledygook. That was from, uh, <laughs> that was from uh, uh, Harry Potter. Right? Remember, gob remember gobbledygook, it's all in the throat. It's all in the throat. <laughs> I like the Air Force, but I like going to the Air Force bases overseas because the Air Force they be having like the nicest stuff, bro. <laughs> I remember I went to the Air Force base in uh, South Korea. I was like, this is a base. This is like a freaking nice ass housing development. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, was, it was literally like going to Highland Park in Dallas, bro. That's what it looked Damn. like. You know what I'm saying? Like places in there have like chandeliers and shit. I was like, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> There's no beacon, so I'm going to turn for a little bit. to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Alright. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been moved to the side already, or? Please visit us again. I'm on the sunlight Goodbye. side. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. They were resorts, man. I wasn't with Marines, but I did two tours with Marines. I did one tour with the Marines at Camp Lejeune. I was with Marsoc, and then I did um, my second to last tour with Marines. Um, I was with 3rd Medical Battalion. Okinawa. Vehicle selected. Stand by. When I say I was in Mars, like I was at the HQ. Your vehicle has been denied. delivered to the following location. I was not in the field with those guys. I had to. I worked in the AC. They were cool though. So I worked in the AC. Shit, Camp Lejeune is hot, bro. Hot and humid, just like Texas. I'm trying to be outside. Dude, like, in, over in Okinawa, so, like, they have, like, the, the housing, right? 
and so like everyone mm-hmm. like there's like Okinawa is like one of those places like where every branch except for the Coast Guard is there. So you have Army, Navy, Air Force, all like in one place, and everybody tries to fight for the housing on the Air Force base, which is Kadena Air Base. So everyone wants to get priority for Kadena housing because it's literally the nicest. They have like wooden floors. You know what I'm saying? Some of the houses have like recessed lighting. Like they're nice houses. Like I'd be like, shit, man, I'd be alright living there. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like the base housing was actually nice enough for you for you you would want to live in the base housing. You wouldn't mind it. What's going on with my and then, like, stick the, here? Uh, the commander of the uh, Air Force Base pretty much came out and, and he, he put out that um, he was getting tired of seeing like Marines get like Air Force housing. So he made it do, priority. Do he, made it, he made it priority that oh, what is you, your have to, you have to they have to pi- try to put you on the base and what you're stationed at. Because before, like, you all you all you'd have to do is just go there and ask, like, "Hey, is there any housing available on Kadena?" And they'd be like, "Yeah." So if you were stationed uh, like on my base, which was Camp Foster, you know, you could just get Kadena basing, uh, Kadena housing, and then like the the, the the Air Force commander, he was like, "Your ship won't stop spinning." Oh yeah, it does that sometimes. <laughs> it won't stop spinning. I can try to catch you in the Argo. <laughs> Oh god. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Help. Jane, stop this crazy thing. I can try to catch you. No promises though. I'm gonna try to like work my way down to the ground. The first thing I have All to right. do with this ship is open the door because I don't want to get stuck in here again. You're almost there. Ship. You're almost there to the ground. You're not that high up. You might survive it. Wee- you fall. Ow. No. Are you dead, dead? No. Oh, good. Past, I can train to a zombie right away. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know how your ship is still in the air, though. I turned the engines on and jumped out. I turned the engines off and jumped out, and it's still floating in air. Your ship is possessed. How how is it floating in the air? The engines are off. To med pad quick. <laughs> How much longer do you have? I have oh, an hour and a half. Oh, okay, well, you have time. I can go slow. I can take my time flying two meters. <laughs> Let's watch out for the phantom ship. It's just spinning. With no propulsion systems on. I feel like your ship should be captured and studied for science. Right. It's a di- it's a dynamo. You. It just spins again. forever. Warning. You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. I will not vacate the area. See, I wish we could interact with stuff with third person. That'd be so nice. You, you, you can, but... 
I did 13 years in the Navy, JT. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. I can't vacate the area. Sorry, my legs are broken. My guy gas back to life. Gotta close the door for you to cook properly. Initiate the ship storage procedure. For your safety, please make it again. Make sure the heat's distributed in the middle. Ah! If I lay down, am I, am I knocked out again? Probably. I know if I trip, I'm knocked out. Oh, it's windy outside, too. Oh, God. <laughs> the worst thing. I'm one heart. I'm one heart. Yeah. <laughs> Strong you're gonna, you're gonna walk out here and die again. It's all that windy right Must here. Be. Oh, God. You're sliding across the floor on my screen. Third person. So I can see. I like how my guy's standing. I wish I had like the covers black so I can fly you to a station. Show everybody my freaking stuff. You could in the little hard <laughs> It doesn't have a quantum drive. <laughs> it would just take forever. We'd be flying there for like three days. <laughs> There's a 24 hour stream for you. Slow flying to a. a, a you want to right. fly to a, to a planet. I wish I things. I wish I brought my multi tool. Cause I know I can use a multi-tool. I can find you one. Or you know, you can't equip least... it. I have to kill you again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can actually use it. I know I can pull it out. Cause I can. I probably can't. You, you know can't what? run, right? Your legs are broken. Yeah, no, this is, I'm, I'm running at top speed. We could do a, a beacon, an S, uh, a personal transport beacon. Good. Let me ask somebody beacon. in chat. <laughs> Anyone help me transport my zombie? My guy is all bent sideways when he's running. Did you see me? Sure, when I turned off the engines, it would just, you know. Yeah, remember, I, I tried things. that. Remember when I tried that in the hangar and it just it wouldn't stop? <laughs> I wish the gravity gun was strong enough to pull me up there. Right. Oh, uh, someone accepted my rescue beacon. Gonna be out here walking around. He's gonna be all freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to chase me. I don't want to be healed. Leave me alone. I can't. Take 
How far away is he? Uh, 31... I just got my crusader. Oof. to the furthest away beacon you possibly could, huh? Right. Uh, I can't go in the contract. I can kind of move you. He's, he's not back, though. Uh, on my screen, I can kind of move you if you move back. Oh, uh, I'm going to try to lay in. Don't lay, don't lay down. Lay down real quick. Can you get up? Can you move me? Yeah, I can tell how I want to get from the... I can't move you. I mean, I, it does move you, but it moves you right back. If you like watch the stream. Absolutely. Moves you right back to where you were. It's like, wait a minute. We need jetpacks and lightsabers. Having a jetpack or lightsaber fight. That'd be so much fun. That would be a lot of fun. Alright, I'm gonna go find something to eat because my guy's getting kind of getting hungry. This actually be a good test to see if you uh I have, uh, Thirst and hunger. Not only that, but the cold, because it's gonna get magma gets really cold at night. So it's going down. Oh, yeah. See if you're impervious to uh Are right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make you a zombie then drop you off at jump town. <laughs> 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 that would be funny. Or you just get a bunch of uh, people and make them zombies. Drop them off at Jump Town. All right. Did you guys like watch that? If I got like ten or fifteen people together, made them all zombies, and took them to Jump Town. Give them all multi pulls so they can run around punching people. You know what? We'll just we'll just recruit we'll, people. We'll recruit people. We'll we'll hire them, and you know, we'll say we're offering people, you know, money to be a zombie. X amount of money to hang out till the end, and then just kill, kill them all, and then turn them all into zombies. We'll put them in like uh, we'll we'll get them up in Argo, and then fly up out of the. Uh, out of the uh, up, up a little bit, but just have them all jump out one at a time. Oh, they could all jump up together. Oh, somebody's already been here. Someone's already looted this place. Oh, he's close. He's he's about to be here. He got here quick. I do have stuff What's here. What's he flying, man? Oh, shit. That dude got here quick. He's here. 587 away. Are you still up by the ship? I'm right here in front of you. Coming towards you. Your thing disappears so I can't see you. Oh, ah, there you are. Oh, I hear him. Five hundred and sixty away. I heard something flying by. <laughs> I heard that too. Sounds like a light fighter. Oh, but I can't kill him and make him into a zombie too. I see him out on the horizon, see him? 
Need a little light out this way. Or maybe it was a star. Yeah, maybe it was a super bright star. That could be like one of the so planets out there on the horizon. I thought it was flying across the sky though. Twelve. No That's probably new. the way. It should be almost. It must be right, almost right on top of us. Nine. I see him. I see Ramp Access. That's his name. <laughs> his name is Ramp Access. You can see him on the screen. Wait, that's not. Time to have one confused guy in our hands. Yeah, he looks like he's in a cutlass. From this angle, the the colors look like, looks like the uh, A10 Warthog. Just two big things on the side. What is he doing out there? Is that actually him? Is he like over this over this this direction? Um, I, I can't tell which. He's 1.5 away. That's kind of him. Why would he spawn so far out? Or why would he land so far out as he spawn? <laughs> it's a rotisserie hornet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was too afraid of it to come near it. He's like, I don't know what's going on there. There's a rotisserie hornet, a zombie. He probably thinks it's a setup, but we're in armistice, so we can't even, we can't do anything fun if we wanted to. Yeah, he should feel safe. Yeah, I could take this for a look and go check it out. He's coming. He's coming off it. I don't know why would he land so far away. Yeah, I'm not sure. Take I'm off. getting 96 while I'm running away from the loss though. He's coming slow. Maybe he's driving in. Oh no, I'm not in the air now. Oh god. Give me the gunner seat. Yeah. It'll be fine. I can choke inside the ship. Oh yeah, he is driving here. So yeah, he was maybe in a He is. Um oh shoot, you're gonna have to come talk to him. I can't. Getting out of the ship now. See, it takes five minutes to get out of your ship. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Hey, can you actually uh, just take me to the station? Did he leave? Is he leaving? Yeah, he's still here. And my buddy. Hey, man. Can you hear me? He's leaving. Hello. 
Can you can you take us to the Let's station in your up. cutlass? Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you just bring it over here and just drop us off at the station? We're cool. We're not gonna do anything weird. Oh, it's fine. You just need to climb and uh, you want to climb it, climb too. I think you can climb if you, uh, you just stay. Uh, stay yeah, my friend's gonna fall off because he can't interact with anything. I might be okay. Uh, I'm straddling the windshield. If you look at my stream, I'm straddling. Yeah, you're a zombie. I think you're playing it. Uh, yeah, I can, I can come. I come with the cutlass. Let's see if this works. Oh, he fell off. Nah, I'm on. I've never actually been on one of these. This is a cool ship. IV drip. I'm just laying in bed getting some free food. as fast as I can go. One thing we all, all know about zombies, they're not quick. That's why I'm not afraid of the, the zombie, zombie apocalypse. You know, if we get slow zombies, I think we're good. Fast zombies is the problem. Sorry, this is as fast as I can go. Stand here. All right, actually, I'll just lay right here. Hopefully, I won't trip and die again. I'm trying to pick you up. <laughs> yeah, no. Unfortunately, I can't we'll be picked up. Go close to the bed. Go just close to the bed and put you on the floor. Oh well, I'm not trying to like get revived just yet. I want to go to a station first. Wait, wait. 
go front and stay close to the bed, really close to him. I'll drag you right, to the bed. He's gonna try to revive me. I don't wanna be revived, my guy. Can you just I take us to Everest Harbor? To where? Everest Harbor. Yeah, yeah. Alright, thanks. Okay. You manage with. Uh, Yeah, you won't be able to uh, interact with you. me. I don't know if I get me a crime stat, but I would try something. Oh, you guys gonna try to knock me out? No, I can't anyway. We're in Armistice. Let's take us to Everest oh. Harbor. We just want to walk around the station with a zombie. Okay, okay. Thanks for I fell onto my back, so it didn't knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. Oh, you're T-posing for a second. I'm just gonna stay Oh god, you're T-posing. Yeah, relax, bike. Well, we should buy the last bike. Where'd you go, Starboy? Because you says you left the ship. Oh, you worked back. No, no, you didn't. Yeah, it shows you out in space. Ow. How am I back again? Zombie small caliber rifles 22 is effective according to the World War World War Z the book. Makes sense. You know, zombies are rotting flesh anyway, so you know it's not like you need something very powerful to shoot through their skin. I appreciate it. Could you uh come open Operate the elevator for me. My friend, he crashed. Appreciate it. Oh, well. I got his name. It's like Kaylee or something we'll like that. We'll pay him back later. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll pay him back when, when uh, this goes live. No point in paying him now. Right. There's a free ship out here, though. Pad one. It's on the. It's on pad one. Yeah. Is it open? 
Uh, yeah, the elevator's sitting down on the floor. Is it Akani? I don't know what the hell is. No. I don't know what the hell this thing is. You should take it. I can't interact with anything. <laughs> I can't call the elevator up. Are you still zombie mode? Yeah, I'm still in zombie mode. Out on the pad. Can I EVA as a zombie? You should oh, be able to find out. It's going to zero if he kills you. <laughs> right. Okay, I can. I'm a zombie in space. Space zombies the game. Okay, good. I stuck one. Oh, good. He's coming inside. Wait for me. Wait, I'm slow. He's already taken off. No, the door. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. He, he didn't take off. He, he stuck around for a while and then he came to, he came and opened the elevator. Yeah, I'm in the station. So what's this doctor doing? Oh God, he's going to go buy a med pin. Quick, hide. Run away. <laughs> Quick, hide. Run away. I'm trying to load in. I'm still loading in. Run with my broken legs. Quick, I don't think he knows about my hole. Pause. <laughs> Aha, he'll never find me in my hole. I mean, he'll find me because he has the beacon, but maybe he won't figure it out. You find a good uh, spot where you can hide? Yeah, there's like this little cavity underneath the stairs that you can squeeze under. It's probably confused the word to load me in there. Yeah. Is, I, is it in the ship or is it out here in space? <laughs> I'm going to jinx it and I'm going to say it. I'm surprised we haven't had a 30k. Yeah, this patch has been pretty stable. I don't think he's been able to find me. I've been alone in my little thing and I haven't heard him. And I see the little meter thing ticking around. Playing hide and seek. I'm a zombie. One my my one weakness, healing spells. Oh no. The only you should tell them the only way he, he can revive you is with the Gawoody Gok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that Gawoody Gok. 
It's all in the throat, my man. <laughs> Thinking about will ever come back to SC. It was so fun to just run around like a gnome. That does sound like fun. That'd be useful for Jump Town. Oh god, he found me. Oh god, he, he's trying to stab me. Should be able to block it. He tried to stab me. Did he miss? Yeah, I I I ducked, I dodged the weave. <laughs> Someone call the police. He's trying to stab me. <laughs> no, I'm afraid of needles. Same guy who dropped us off. Same, yeah, he's trying to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get paid until I get revived. <laughs> Tell him I'll pay him with the log back, log back into the game. <laughs> I'll pay him to leave I us think alone. he gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's given up. He's back at the ASOP terminal. I told him I was afraid of needles. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Expect the menu because I can uh, I can still exit with loading me in. Uh, there you go. I'll just put you back on the planet. Let's try that again. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. Figures. Oh, there was looking, there's some service beacons out around. Um, what do you call it? Person. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw some low threats just now. Oh, no. It works now. It loaded in. Elevator wasn't working there for a 
a second. Yeah, it, it, the default's not much on these beacons. Still holding on to my beacon now. Yeah, he's like this dude will, will revive it eventually. He said to the default was for 15k. That'd be funny if people like uh, transport beacons and they ask for like they put like one AUVC for a transport beacon. Brains. Are you running around scaring people in there? <laughs> yeah. People running away from you. <laughs> this is a chicken here asking me if I'm okay. I'm a zombie. I'm, I'm a zombie. <laughs> Sounds muffled. Um, he has a very feminine voice. Oh. Your insurance claim has been sent. Please visit us again. Please be aware that while in the Stanton system, and I'm saying blonde hair, tits, and an ass with a female voice, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's safe to assume it's a she. <laughs> Running away from me. <laughs> She's running from the zombie. Your insurance claim has been sent. Tell her you're gonna give it to the goblin duke. <laughs> it's all in the throat. <laughs> just hit your voice, comment, just keep saying gobbledygook, gobbledygook, gobbledygook. <laughs> For the latest 
Oh, maybe they can hear me. She said she can't hear me. I'm guessing it has to do with being passed out. Yeah. Yeah, I wish Jack could be like this every day. It'd be nice. Hello, and welcome, welcome to Riker's Visitor Spaceport, the Aegis Circle Retrieval System. Area 18 metropolitan area. We hope you have safe travels wherever you find your destination. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your personal belongings are your personal responsibility. Monitor your, your vehicle has been moved time. to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars. You want to try to fly the horn again? Proud to bring the universe closer together. Uh, yeah. Our goal, investing in tomorrow's future. I will need you to stab me with the med pill when you get here. I can do that. My ship is fucked up looking. Damn. They said give him the use ship. He's been in the military, he's used to it. <laughs> right. Oh no, Black Spike. Okay, we survived. Man, I'm sitting here looking at the, like the side of my ship. I'm like, damn. They gave me a bust of that shit. For real, for real. That's how you feel, Sid? That's how you feel? Alright then. Let's see how you're going to do me. Okay. 
that's interesting. Also, I want to remind everybody to hit the like button if you haven't already. Need all, all them likes. It just makes me think like thinking about that cheating video it just makes me think how many people cheat at jump town right how many people are like cheating at dog fighting in jump town now like you just don't know how good people actually are uh oh I think my game's crashing I don't know now it's your turn <laughs> Hang in their game, come on. Nope. You make it? And there it was. No. Definitely didn't make it. Please, somebody help! These outlaws came out of nowhere and opened fire! Well, I'll start doing some things until you get back in. Once I time to get back in, I'm up to the higher X. Hopefully. Quantum drive is now off. Please, I'm under attack! Hold your horses. Hold your gobbledygook. <laughs> Somebody help! 
These outlaws came out of nowhere and opened fire. Scar, we appreciate you for tuning in. As usual. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. All channels! I'm under attack! Please, if you hear this, help me! Got to get you that gobbledygook yeah. before you get back on the road. Need a double gobbledygook. <laughs> right. Laying down on the, the station floor. No, that would be ultimate persistence. We're not. We're not even in a party anymore. We should be still. Um, you might have to go back to menu. More whole game crash Let's talk. Spinning? No, the 
The scorpion was floating in the air, but it should be on the ground now. I mean, the, um... The other shit. Of a hornet? We'll have to find out. Whatever, right now. So we can both fly scorpuses. You just want to come here to H H hey, to I sure will. I'm gonna see if I can get in that ship still. It lets me access it still. Ship's gobbledygook now. <laughs> the gobbledygook. It doesn't let me interact with it anymore. You can call it the hairy gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> the Amish store it came from. The other one. Damn. Yeah. Let me get some water real quick. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Looks like I'm back at the uh, on the planet. Are you back in our port? Yeah, looks like it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Notice I need a party invite. Game gonna crash again. Dang. Nope, there it goes. Oof. Are you not used to that yet? The lag spikes surviving it. it, it it's a 50 50, you know, you never know. Yeah. Is it a lag spike? Is it my game crashing? Who knows?
Protect me now, get back here and protect me! Oh god, who's looking? Sauron? Yeah, I turned that setting off though. Person next. Oh. Got more bad guys on my scope. Is it my settings? That's a hundred. <clears throat> oh well. Sometimes because like it looks you in a direction that you're not actually looking with your eyes. Oh yeah. Anybody out there? I've got pirates all over me. I need assistance here. Somebody came. 
My ship's completely offline. Can you cover me while I fix it? That was going too quick. Destroyed. I thought I was a goner. Thanks. Friendly in space. Yeah. Proceed to assigned landing bank. This one or not? No. Don't let the logical thing give me the closest. Closest hangar.
landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Oh man, is there gonna be another wipe tonight? Probably. I think I can get used to that. Shoot. When they first put it on live, they had it going for a few days before they wiped it. What's your name is? <laughs> Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Insurance claim has been sent. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Bad time in that hanging here. There's stuff all up in it. Two people or a ship. Hangar one out then. Like I said, when I flew by, there was a bunch of stuff in that hangar. Really? Well, somebody's up to something in hangar one. I'm about to hop on over there real quick and see what's going on. Oh, I'm in ha hangar two. Yeah, 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 so should be hanging one or three. That's yeah, this one, hanger one. in here. Somebody said something. Pretty solid box. Ow. Ow. 
Please don't pull a scar. It beat me to death with the fucking salvage box. <laughs> the frames are so bad right now. <laughs> I was having flashbacks. PTSD. <laughs> For real, my life was flashing before my eyes. I heard someone talking. They're like, don't steal my salvage box. This is probably why the frames are bad over here. Someone had a real bad day. There's a derelict Problem. site inside the hangar. Yeah. Is it there like a ship, a bed, two beds? I want to get inside the ship. In your ship. Oh, your ship already belonged to us. Oh, I picked up a gun. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I wonder if you could, like, knock me over without knocking me out. Oh, you're damaging the ship. Hell yeah. Getting damage on the bottom. I see it. Oh, oh god! It blew up. Holy shit! Did you die? No. Went right back up because that was a soft death explosion. Dang, that's that's messed up. You just take this gun around and just start blowing up ships. Well, that's super it fucked blow up. up again, shouldn't it? And no crime sad. It's like I didn't do it. Yeah, I guess. I didn't do it. The gun did it. <laughs> wow, that's so broken. That should blow up again, shouldn't it? Wait, that should mean the door opened, right? No. You can't pull the door down, can you? Well, that'd be nice if I could. Let's get done. There you go. Oh, there you go. After you solve this, I guess you can, uh... Access it. Check the fire. Oh god, is that what that is? Yeah, those are flashing lights. Oh god, it looked like some kind of phantom gun for a second, my mic spike. Lights. Bathroom was clear. You're in the flames, can I? Are you burning? No. I was born in the flames. For full deaths. Oh, I hope someone wasn't uh, open to come back to that because. Uh, yeah, they got there for a rude awakening. Right. In for a bad time. I need more testing. Because let's say someone's ship is like. Facility, like Welcome SCD to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Let's do that there. Another ship there that has guns that have been blown up. Right? Vehicle selected. Stand by. 
would I be able to blow their shit mm -hmm. up? Your vehicle with? has been delivered to the following yeah. location. Hangar 3 for the Hornet. Please visit us again. You should put away your weapon. This is the... You're, you're gonna get in trouble. Don't, don't you dare. Get her. Get her. This is the one from earlier on. I'm gonna give this gobbledygook real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you want this gobbledygook, girl? Anyone want this gobbledygook. Come get it. I got that good gobbledygook. <laughs> What's your name is though? Oh god, she put me in the elevator. <laughs> Freak me out. What's your name is girl? Where'd you go? <sighs> we got away. <laughs> we got away. She got away. I heard her. Look at these frames back, girl. What it gave me the nobody goop. Hanger one. Oh god, the frames are so bad. Hanger seven. She's either on hanger one or hanger seven. That's where all these elevators went. Should be where the box and stuff was. No, it's probably on Hangar 7. I need to give her this gobbledygook. Saving so far away. For real. Hey girl, come get this gobbledygook. Come get this gobbledygook. It's her, it's her. Give us. Come here. Don't leave us. She's not even in here. There's nobody in the pilot seat. Wait, I heard her. I heard her. I heard her laugh. When we came in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There she is. She's right here. Hey. Got this gobbledygook for you. <laughs> what your name is, though? Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you heard about our Lord Savior, Chris Roberts? She is walking sideways. She's drunk. Excuse me, ma'am. How much have you had to drink? Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Stay she's here. ready for the ship. She's she's Don't making go. a break for the ship. She's going for the ship. Stop her. I'm in the elevator. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't know why he's in his lobby. If you want to, you can try to chase her out. Excuse the, me, ma'am. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior? Our Lord and Savior gobbledygook? I'm trying to get on her. I'm going to make this jump. Wait, hold on. Give me like 30 minutes. I'll make this jump. <laughs> Said, give me, give me like thirty minutes, and I'll make the jump. Hold on. <laughs> oh God! Wait, what hang? Here's the Hornet in. Three. All right. Here, I'm gonna open the doors for you. By the time you get there, you just take off. Watch it be like extra good at PVP. 
Seven. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna find Hangar Seven. I'll just look for a ship. Give me like thirty minutes. I'll make. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out. Um, oh, was that how they just flew around? No, I'm not. Please visit again. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle retrieval system. Don't store my ship. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been anger? delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Mm, I can't find which one tears. They sure it took off by the time I got up. No, I think I here's a hundred eye. Six hundred eye. A six hundred eye, I mean. I saw a super, another super hornet. And the six hundred eye. Well, she got back out of her ship. That's a mantis. Even if her ship was still there, you could you were supposed to get like on the hangar. Like it would just be white. Yeah, I got close there. This was a, a mantis on one of the hangars. Oh here it is. The gladius. She got out of it. Had to get real close to this thing. Get away from these bad frames. There we go. High threat beacon right off the bat. Hey. Anybody out there? Get it. I've got pirates all over me. I need assistance here.
guys this live show for me right now. I'm afraid to move. It's amazing. I need some help moving up these bastards. I'll be there as soon as I can. not wanting to register my sticks for some reason. There we go. Hold on one second, guys. Be right back to play with y'all. Now get back here and protect me! They would do this to me right now. Roberts, give me Frank. Give me Frank. Shields, give me Frank. I'm coming back in. On. Finally. Oh, why does it think I'll zoom in? Like, why does it do this? Yeah, it's stuff. that autofocus target. Bullshit. Are my sticks? Oh my goodness. God. My sticks were backwards, so I, I quantum back in and then flew back out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, I can't shoot anything because, like, my frame is so bad. 
can't even fly. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna uh, almost. 